Maniac, today we are going to be watching the movie Orphan. Now, a lot of people have been recommending this movie for years, actually. For years, this movie has been recommended to me, and I just, for some reason, well, there is no for some reason. I just had so much on my plate that it really never crossed my mind to just go ahead and get it done. And I decided, you know what, I think I put up a poll, and it won. Orphan was the one that won, so I will be putting up more polls here soon again. But for now, I hope you guys enjoy this reaction to Orphan. Of course, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, if you love this type of content. Definitely make sure you hit that like button because that's the easiest way to let me know that you want to see more content like this. And I'm going to tell you right now, I love making content like this. So uh, please, please support the video. And uh, let's go ahead and dive into this, guys. And I'll give you guys my honest thoughts during and, of course, after the video. Vera Farmiga. Big fan ever since The Conjuring. I don't know what it is, but I always get anxious and nervous when a woman's pregnant in a movie. Is there water breaking? Oh, that's an issue. Your baby's dead. No, it's not dead, it's alive. Hope you sleep up to be asleep. It's too late for that. No! Okay, honey, you're doing great. What the hell? She's dreaming. There ain't no way. Congratulations, Mrs. Coleman. It's a girl. Yeah. Yeah. The second she got to the hospital and they were talking to her that way, I knew it was a dream. Now, if that's not a sign, I don't know what is. Oh, she's not pregnant. I wonder if she's had miscarriages. There's a nice transition right there. Maybe the nightmares, um... Maybe I'm just not ready to adopt yet. Trust me, you wouldn't have made it through the home study if you weren't ready. You have to decide. Yeah, she's she's a tortured soul, in a sense. And she must have had miscarriages and just can't have kids. And that's why she's choosing to adopt. Okay, so she, she is a mom. She does have a kid. I wonder if it's her husband's kid. Or maybe I'm just overthinking it. Maybe it's her kid. Maybe it's her kid, too. Like, by blood. It, I know there's more to just being related by blood, you know. Jeez. Wow. That would have been horrifying. I wish I could play piano. I'm not talented like that. These people got money. <laughs> These people got money. I mean, I should have said it when I saw them pulling up to the house, but... Jeez, man. These two are good parents so far. I mean, seriously, they're they're solid. My new baby sister. Mm. Okay, so they she did have two kids, and she must have been excited for a little sister, I guess, a little sibling. But they had a miscarriage, so she couldn't have her si little sister. She's a beautiful little angel now. Always was, but now she can actually fly. That's so sad. That is heartbreaking. Oh, am I going to get a new sister? Woo! Pull out the heartstrings a little bit. Why do I got a feeling this thing is going to shut and someone's going to be there? I have to stop being like this. I get it. <laughs> the way she climbed into bed. I'm very excited. I'm happy. But nervous? I get nervous. Last time I felt all of this was right before I lost the baby. I want to take the love that we felt for Jessica and I want to give it to somebody who really needs it. Let's get the most troubled little shit. I just got a feeling the kid they're going to get is just nothing but an abomination. An outrage against nature. Oh, I got a feeling. Or she could be charming. I shouldn't just judge the little tyke before I get a chance, right? She might be a sweetheart. What is it with giggling children that just jump out of nowhere that scare me? I got a bad feeling. Did she actually notice him? This one's about the sad mother lion who can't find her cubs. 
Oh. It's the only thing that makes her happy. She's very oh, sophisticated. She they found their mother asleep under this tree. Now when she wakes up, her dream will have come true. She's very smart. It's kind of scary. Not scary. It's sweet. Cool. Oh, something's up with you? her. Nice to meet you. Hey, if you're so bored, why aren't you down at the party? I've never really seen the point of it. I wonder if there was a reason. Family that brought her to America died in a house fire. A fire? The only time we've ever had trouble with her is when we've tried to take them off. I could get the paperwork together and see you back here in three weeks. Very cool. Well, I say that now. But we all know this is a horror movie. Okey-dokey. Call me if you need anything. I had a feeling the second they noticed she was by herself, they were going to take her because they're looking for somebody who want, doesn't have that much love. They want to give her love, right? Is this your house? No, it's your house, too. What do you think? Turns out, Scar. How much do you make? How much do you think I make a year? Go on, guess. Guess. Hello, Max. My name is Esther. Hello, Daniel. Hey. You have a piano? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we're gonna connect with that, aren't we? Aw, oh, she seems so sweet. I'm gonna be sad when she turns evil. Uh, maybe the twist, though, is that um, one of them are evil. Wow, look at that. Ah, uh, jealousy. Wow, cool. <laughs> Kids need attention, you know? Shut up. Come on, guys. I got a bad feeling about this little boy. That's a heck of a treehouse. That's pretty awesome. She's already up there. Hello, Daniel. Oh, man, she's hot. This looks like your mom. <laughs> That's always so weird. Looks like your mom. Don't tell me she's about to walk in. That's awkward. That is one of the biggest fears of being a parent, is the kids just walking on in. Yeah? I want to sleep next to daddy. Uh, <laughs> hang on. Yeah, hang on. He's probably thinking, damn it. You're going to pick up the phone? Yeah. 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 All right. I like them. I, I thought they were gonna most horror movies have these parents, you know, having issues with each other But these guys look like they like each other a lot Okay, this, this is, is our new student. Her name's Esther Coleman. Oh look, little Bo Peep texts me. She wants her outfit back <laughs> Oh, you're first. You're gonna regret making that lame joke. Oh, no, no! I'd put up a fence or something to keep people out of that. Do not tell me he's about to shoot that girl. He's not going to shoot Esther. Did you kill it? Just a paintball. I didn't think it hurt him. If you walk away now, it'll starve to death. Is that what you want? I'm not doing it. Uh, she's about to. It's in heaven now. That doesn't mean it's okay. That bird would have been fine. You see that bird just look over? No, no, guys, I'm, I'm okay. As she hit it with the rock. What is this? An old Bible? And now she's gonna know that she was looking through it. Why does she have a picture of the dad, the husband, in the Bible? Your parents must have gone to a lot of retard camps to find someone as dumb as her. Jesus freak brought a Bible to school today. <laughs> I kind of feel bad for her. <laughs> oh, they said, yeah, do not take her collars off and her bows and stuff. You did really good. I made like 11 mistakes. I'll do better next time. Is it a new Bible? And there's you. Who's Jessica? She died while she was still in my tummy. She would have been lucky. I, I don't know if she's trying to win him over or... <laughs> I mean, you're not even your bedroom's safe, so... Oh boy. Nope. Is Esther gonna walk around the corner? What are you two doing in here? Where's the kid? You could have made it less obvious. <sighs> oh, we have to talk about last night. When grown-ups love each other very, very much. We have sex. I know. They fuck. And, and babe, the way she said it is, I don't even think she expected to get in trouble over it. Anyway, I just don't want to make a big deal out of one little dirty word. No, there's no reason to. 
and that would make her feel even more secluded. Oh no. Is that the bully? Something tells me she's about to get effed up. Haven't seen you around lately. Has the homeowner association been soldiering on without me? <laughs> <laughs> no way, dude. Don't be cheating on your wife. I was hoping you could come by and help me. Maybe Kate and I could help you out. Just let us know. I'm glad he mentioned his wife's name. Me and Kate. Don't. Whatever you do, do not. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, maybe not start shit with people you can be, you're kind of afraid of and creeped out by. Because they might come back and uh, bite you in the ass. No, no, she's totally in there. Metal bar to the face. Well, this kid. Her leg just snapped. Holy smokes. At least she didn't die, but good golly. Brenda's father says that you pushed her. That's not true. Oh boy. And she's got her back. Pretty clever. Little demon. Pretty clever. She slipped. What's the big deal? What? She wants you to pass the bread and butter. Wasn't asking you. Everything she does is so sophisticated. She's not my fucking sister. Yep, punishment time. No more treehouse. Hello. Well, how are you? Hi, we're great. Oh, she's turning all psycho mode. Hey, Esther, maybe lay off, you know, the psycho play a little bit. Nothing wrong with the way you dress, but lay off the psycho play. Oh my gosh. Then you were just pretending this whole time? She's been lying to me this whole time. I'll take a word for everything. Should I just believe what she said about you and Joyce Patterson, too? She says that you were hitting on her. She asked me to help her move a chair. We can talk about my mistakes, but not your... Of course she's enjoying it. She is tearing this family apart. She is ruining them. This child needs to go. I think there could be something wrong with Esther. What? While she was there, there was a boy who fell with a pair of scissors in his hand and accidentally stabbed himself through the jaw. He got pushed with the scissors, yeah. I had a feeling. It's ridiculous. That a child could commit such crimes. It, it just flies in the face of everything I believe in. Well, unfortunately, she's on point. Look for the key to the treehouse. Is she planning on murdering her? And she's made this little sweet innocent child her mini-me. Oh my... Do you want to play? Oh my gosh. What an evil little... I'm sure they did that back at their orphanage, right? Russian roulette? Here she comes. Wave your arms and make her stop. <laughs> Dude, I thought she was about to kill Max. I was about to be pissed. Stop crying. Grab a foot. Oh my gosh. And help me get her off the road. This... Demon is so evil. Help me hide her. Oh my good golly. Oh, she's acting like this is not the first time she has taken part in killing somebody. She knows how to do everything. What did you do with the car? That doesn't matter. You're not going to tell on me, are you? Why would she now? You made her practically your little sidekick. This, this little kid might be the one to get killed. Yikes. I saw you and Max in the treehouse. What else? What do you mean? I find out that you're lying. Oh my gosh. He just piss himself? Well, that's embarrassing. She says there's nothing wrong with her. No. <laughs> it seems she feels there's been some real tension between the two of you. That's not true. That's not true at all. I, I, I've done everything, right? She's turning everybody against her. <laughs> I hope she feels better after this, this little outburst. Thanks for your support back there. That was your idea. I'm not a psychiatrist, but a lot of what she said made sense. Look, I'm sorry to bother you, but I really need to know if Sister Abigail made it to her appointment with you. Where'd they put the body? Oh my good golly. They found her. Okay, they didn't hire, hide her that well. Oh, she's planning on burning down the orphanage. Oh, that's pretty crazy. Children who kill. They are adroit manipulators. Oftentimes playing people off one another to get what they want. That's pretty accurate. If you need help with the kids, we can arrange that. 
<laughs> Maybe not try to talk in a house where this girl is. How are you two uh, get, getting along with Esther? Has she done anything that she's not supposed to do? I don't think mommy likes me very much. Hey, why don't you do something nice for mommy? Show her how much you love her. Oh, I'm curious now. I have a special surprise for you, mommy. I picked these flowers just for you. Oh my god. Hey! Yikes, she knew exactly what she was doing. That is evil. That is evil. Straight up. Wow, she's really going there. She's gonna break her own arm just to make it look like she broke her arm. Oh my god, that is sadistic. Daddy, daddy! <laughs> Sorry, honey. Oh my god. Wow. Dedicated. You gotta give her that. Very dedicated kid. It's impossible. I didn't grab her that hard. She wants to sleep in here tonight. Maybe you should sleep downstairs. Wow, she's really got him wrapped around her fingers, too. Who doesn't even want to sleep downstairs, wants to sleep out in the car. Oh, no. Ah, oh, damn. That's not going to help your situation. Damn, that's not going to help your situation. Now it's going to make it look like you're an alcoholic again. Hurting the kids and everything, you just look, make yourself look worse. Yeah. Well, she dumped it out. That's at least good. Oh no. <laughs> Lucky. Wow. So much for loving that sister of yours. Max is covering for her. And I don't think it's the first time. Why don't you, like, open your fucking mind a little bit and think of all the possibilities? The girls found this this morning. We've reserved a place for you in a rehabilitation facility about 45 minutes from here. I didn't drink it. If Max had gotten hurt this morning. What happened this morning has nothing to do with this. He just met this kid. Oh, shit, the mommy gave you that. Is it bad of me to say I almost wouldn't mind if she got pushed down the stairs? Esther, I mean. Like, I'm just so tired of this. she do something to make the car crash. If you saw her, you have to help me. Well, don't talk so loud. What did she do in my treehouse? Are the bad things still there? No. Nope. Look at the stuff from the treehouse. Then you <sighs> have to believe us. I hate this. That little kid's about to die or get put into the hospital. Going somewhere, Kate? I'm not the one who passed out drunk and let Max almost drown in the pond. Jessica, your cheating husband. Esther, give it to me. Okay, you realize she wants you to snap. You know, you could always just ask your dad to go help you look instead of going by yourself. You don't have to tell him why. Just say, hey, apologize to Esther and go up there and get it. Oh, clever. Don't look at it in her room when she can walk in. Let me guess it burned down. Oh, this kid's about to go to the hospital. Is this the Sarn Institute? You do not understand. Sarn Institute is not an orphanage. It is a mental hospital. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> well, that shit just got real. She probably acted like she was perfectly fine and stuff and then got out. Poor Sister Abigail. I couldn't have done it myself, you know. Wait! <laughs> Yikes, dude. Climb the tree, kid. Oh, God. Didn't even realize it until the last second. Don't worry, they're going to happen. <laughs> that look she just gave her. And will he be able to tell us what happened? It's possible. There's no way of knowing for sure. She is going to attempt to kill him. Oh my god. Do not let that kid in there by with her with him. Oh my gosh. Thank God Max showed up or he would have been dead. It's either Esther or Daniel who started the fire. Can I have a dollar for the soda machine? Don't be too long. You would. Grandma's always spoiling their kids. Um, please tell me there's a doctor in there. Please tell me there's a doctor in there. Okay. Oh no. Get your parents. I'm tired of these kids doing everything by themselves. Like, get your fucking parents do, do something what, what is it sweetie did she actually just kill him get the fuck out of here Daniel! are you fucking serious right now what did you do hey what did you do to him you bitch stop stop orderly orderly What were you thinking? What did you think was gonna happen when you fucking ran up and smacked her in the face like that? Oh, what an idiot. I'm sorry, she was kind of being dumb right there. Like, I get it, being mad, but he had a pulse, he was fine. You could've- now you look like a psycho. I love you. 
Well, Max is probably going to be killed, or attempted to be killed. Took her hearing shit. You didn't notice that? Oh my god. Now she won't be able to hear her coming. Or worse, him getting killed. Even though I don't know why she would want to kill him. Is she about to kill him? No, no, no. What are you wearing? Do you like it? Is she hitting on him? I love you, Daddy. You too. This is, oh, I'm uncomfortable. What are you doing? What are you doing? I said you love me. Oh my God. No, I don't love you like that. You have to respect your mother. I do. Everything is just falling apart. Is she, is he about to die? Even his face. Jesus Christ. Did she just try to grab him? Mark, we're going to have a conversation about your future in this house. Because I can't do it. I just, I can't do it anymore. Oh my God. Yeah, she needs serious help. My name is Dr. Varva. I'm calling from the Sarn Institute. Where is she right now? Is she someplace where she can hear you? Oh my God. They already know. Call your husband and tell him to get your family out of the house. She's a grown woman. She has a rare hormone disorder. It causes proportional dwarfism. She only looks like a child. She's 33 years old. Holy shit. Does she have the scars? Scars around her wrists and neck. <laughs> oh shit, makes sense. Oh my god. If it's really Nina, you don't have much time. What is this? This is a crazy movie. Oh gosh. That is a crazy cool idea. To show how psychotic she is. Hiding behind the drawings of like a little girl. Oh my god, she has fan art of them having sex everywhere. Oh, Get home. Oh, he's probably gonna die by the time she gets there. Make sure you get home okay first before you just. <sighs> I'm getting nervous, man. I'm starting to mess with my. pat my legs and stuff. And he's so drunk that he almost like didn't even feel that at first. He's dead. Ah, oh, fuck. John? No time to break down now. Please don't waste your time. Don't be reckless either. Don't be stupid. She has a gun. Shot her in the arm, it looks like, I think. Wow, totally different tone and style the way she was earlier. Like a whole different person. Yeah, well, she's 33 years old. Go all out. Beat the fuck out of her. Okay, that's two shots now. Nice. Nice. Now grab the gun. Don't even think. Grab the gun. Thank you. Thank you. I'm not your fucking mommy. Oh. Oh, she's dead. Broke her neck with that kick. Now, go back to the house, the place you should have stayed when the cops showed up. That's it. That's where it ends. Holy smokes. Uh, what a movie. What a crazy time. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay, so that was Orphan. That was a movie that everybody had been recommending to me for years. And I've always heard people talk about this movie. Always. And I've had a couple weeks now to think about it, so my, my, my mind has processed the movie a lot better. See, I don't just throw the reactions out there as soon as possible. No, I actually have to take time to actually think about it too. And I gotta tell you, this is a good movie. This is a really good movie. And the twist was shocking, to say the least. I really enjoyed the twist, and I enjoyed the performances. Uh, this is something... You know, I've only seen Vera Farmiga in the Conjuring universe when it comes to horror movies, to my knowledge. So to see her in another horror film was a lot of fun. I actually liked uh, this different role. And uh, she, she's, she's good at playing the mom characters. Can I just say? She, she's really good at playing those mom characters. But And I I hated this little shit. I hated her so much. Every, t every time. Like, at first, you know, you, you kind of were like, oh, okay, she seems like a decent little person. A decent little person. And then all of a sudden, she starts turning into this demented freak. And it really pays off. The ending was shocking. Again, the shocking of the ending really won me over. But I will say that this movie 
I have had no interest in going back and watching it again. Like, it was a good time, and I enjoyed watching it uh, for the performances, the story, the creativity, and all of that. But at the end of the day, I don't think this is one that has a lot of rewatch value. And that's not, you know, no offense to the movie in itself. The movie did, a, again, a phenomenal job at what it was trying to do. It accomplished its goal. I've heard a lot of people talk about this movie, and now that I've actually sat down and watched it, I'm very glad I did that. But that's about it, guys. But if I had to give Orphan a grade... I'm confident at giving this an 8.5 out of 10. Again, it's a good time. It's a good movie, but just not one I feel like I can go back and watch all the time. So that it did deduct a little bit, a few points off of that for that reason alone. So, but anyways, I want to hear your guys' opinion. Do you think I should check out the next movie? I think it's Orphan First Kill. Do you think I should check it out? Hit the like button if you want to see that reaction. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And as always, guys, I'll check you out in the next video. Keep it retro, and by gosh, please do take care. Thank you.